Stage five. Welcome back from more Lizzy Dragoon. Last time, we entered this cave of sorts after well, slaying that dialectal. In a prehistoric period. That's what I always like to think of it as. Anyway, this episode, yeah, we're going through this cave, which is a ton of bats, of course. It makes sense to find bats in a cave, to be honest. That's where you will typically find them. That's our cave going piece after all. Like, it it, it kind of makes sense. Alright, even though it's completely useless to you, because I'm nuts about showing you every nook and cranny of this game, there's a power core here. And a um, life extension. So, yeah, this should be the last life extension that you're going to need if you are playing along. But it is still good nonetheless, as it does act as another potion. So, it's not completely useless to you. That's actually something I admire about this game. If you find an upgrade item that you already have everything completely upgraded, it's not completely useless, it just acts as another recovery item. I mean, granted, this isn't the only game to do this, and this isn't the first game that does this, but still, it is a really, really awesome, like, game design choice. This so that item doesn't go to race and it's only needed. So, yeah. Really... Odd... Item to have here, I mean, it's not exactly needed, I mean, after all, we're able to just... destroy these things, not to really destroy them, but really just detract them. Those turns he can never truly destroy, all all that zapping them and the lightning does is just distract him. So, unless you're like going through this area, I wouldn't recommend attacking him with the lightning once you pass. Because it is really just a full there. I mean, I, I zapped him like, like hundreds of times, and yeah, they just won't be destroyed. Thunder Raven is fantastic for this, as... It is pretty good. Uh, it is pretty helpful for destroying the frost. I guess the boomerang lizard can also be kind of useful here. But uh, for the most part, when you destroy those rocks, you do want to find some kind of solid um, ground to hide and hide behind, as it does fire. As these rocks do indeed fire shots to counterattack you. Is is kind of cool, I guess. Um, it. It, yeah, it just doesn't exactly, it doesn't make things, um, too easy when using them. And it kind of also ties into the whole pace control thing I was going to talk about in, uh, on that, on the, uh, last level. Also ties into, yeah, it, it ties into the fact that this game is exactly, isn't exactly speedrun friendly like I was saying on that, on that Doom trip. And yes, that's what I'm calling it, the Doom trip. So, yeah. Any um, corrections that I might get, I'm gonna have to edit in post before each episode goes up. As um, this is one game I'm gonna be recording all in one season. And like I said, this is a pre short game, all things considered. Then again, a lot of games on the Genesis are. Let's be real. Based on those guys, um, those things. Yeah, be super careful about when coming on here. As those guys, they fire shots that travel on in like a boomerang fashion. They'll just circle around, and they are not easy to avoid, to say the least. So yeah, right here, lightning upgrade, and uh, a platform that we need to, to um, access a um, certain ledge later on. Now, I will say this. Um, I kind of wish those platforms were implemented, uh, implemented a bit more, because it's a kind of clever idea, and it, to me, it can be used to um, create some really clever platformy type puzzles. Just, oh well, this to me, it's really weird. And oh, my thunder raven's almost dead. Hey, right here. I don't recommend having any kind of partner. If you're gonna have a partner up, have the ball of fire. Even then, I guarantee you that ball of fire, even a level 3, is gonna take a little bit of damage. But right now, 
I'm gonna take you wanna go suicidal and just go through here. Because we have an invincibility power here. That is kind of a jerkishly hidden power up. And quite a while I did not know that was there until I bought that jump. Sorry. I played this game like god like 900 plus times and I did not know that was there. Until like um my 800 and 27 playthrough. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that may be an exaggeration, but I play this game a lot, needless to say. Like, get out of there, game controller. Uh, oh well. Now, something I gotta give this game heavy praise for. It's soundtrack. It's got quite possibly the best soundtrack in any video game. And sound. Heck, I need to be quiet here for a moment just so you can hear this amazing soundtrack. I think that's enough. Yeah, you see, this this is a, this is a super awesome soundtrack. Okay, just like this little guy, that that huge guy with this up here, but at the same time, different from the smaller ones, their um, shots will not be returned, and then will not just pull some great Eeries. Eeries. <laughs> that is funny sounding. Sorry. But yeah. Those uh, yeah, those larger one shots won't travel in the U-turn. So you can just simply dodge, dodge attacks. Okay, well, so far you just want to stand right here and avoid the attacks by standing here in the Thunder Raven take care of them. Oh, crap. Uh, I think uh, there's some like power cores here and some meat up ahead. Uh, otherwise, my poor old Thunder Raven would be Rude beyond uh, hell. Let's say that. Uh, okay. Right here is Green Nook. I'd rather let's see it take that one fourth life bar damage in the Thunder Raven. Because unfortunately, that's all the um. Part number we're going to be getting at this point. And there's your um, level barrier. Ah, unfortunately, my Thunder Raven hurt there. Which means I'm going to be switching up to my um, ball of fire. Actually, you know what? Just so the Beringlers are going to get some use here, we'll see some time in the sun. Let's give it some use. Okay. Now, this thing. This thing is one impressive tank. I mean, just look at this thing. It is armed to the teeth. It's laser fire. It has front mechanical moving spike things that hurt. And, yeah. And if that's not impressive enough, just watch. Yeah, bombs and its exhaust pipes will hurt you. Don't think that it won't, because it will. You want to be super careful in dodging those bombs and uh, and that uh, and that exhaust pipe, because you may sustain heavy damage when trying to like, deal damage of your own to it. Okay, jump above his laser fire here. Because of this thing's large size, you do want to stay near the center of the stage, most of the right, just so you can get it and get across and get over the thing unscathed. Um, I wouldn't exactly say unscathed as it is not easy to dodge the uh, exhaust pipe as well as the bombs. At least 
that's what I think they are, the, uh, the, the bombs. What's kind of odd is they don't make on impact, and there we go. That thing is now dead. It's been deaded. All right, that is done. Suddenly, that thing in the background electrifies us. Get yourself now. Next time, we'll be um, exploring that structure. Thing. See you guys then.